Alana, and guess what? We're working on a new cosplay and a new series. It's called The Chronicles of Making Sadie Kane. <laughs> series and I'm so excited. So the series is going to be about me making Sadie Kane, like the whole cosplay. And you're probably wondering if you know my channel, if you've been following me for a year, is this a, a sequel to Tally Grace? Yeah, kind of. Pretty much. <laughs> I have been wanting to redo my Sadie Kane cosplay for better part of three years. Three years? Four years? When was 2019? 2018 more accurately and it all started with the wig and gradually like Talia did it has turned into I want to do a complete overhaul of her cosplay that being said you know what we're doing for this video that's kind of different from the Talia Grace series that I didn't do last time we're doing a shopping video I like shopping so I'm really psyched about this one I'm also really excited about the fact that I can just lay back for this one not to say that it will not be chaotic. And since it will have some chaos, I don't know what the title cards are gonna be. So I'm going to um, put them right here. I know some of what's gonna be in this video. So I know that the searching, whether that be at Goodwill, at my local thrift store, or online is gonna be in this video. Like any of my searching in a film and whatever comes in here stays in here whatever that may pray tell. I might even add a cheeky little edit right here. If not, well, hi. <laughs> Another piece of this video is cleaning up what I have already bought. I do actually have some of the pieces already. I'm really excited about episode two because that's her wig video, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I have her bag. I've had her bag since, who? how long? <laughs> I, since maybe early May, Probably late April. Late April. I've had the thing since late April and it needs some light cleaning. Slight light cleaning. But it's absolutely perfect. Other things I'm going to probably include are like accessories, maybe some extras in here. Because though she has her main outfit, which I'll gladly show somewhere on the screen, she also has her dress and her pajamas or her magic clothes essentially. And I don't know if I'm going to find that or buy that or put that together, but I know that it's on the list. And who knows, this might be just one episode or it might be a continuous segment, like little bits in every episode. I don't know how this series is going to go. Everything I'm saying right now also is unscripted. Like this is how much I want to just kind of put my unbridled chaotic energy with no plan. I mean, some plan but mostly no plan in here. And I'm so psyched. So let's get in my car so we can head to Goodwill, shall we? I'm a little sweaty, but I'm also sitting in a hot car. <laughs> and we have arrived at our destination. But before we go into this new Goodwill for me, it's probably been around for a while, but I haven't been, and I'm really excited to check it out. Sadie's history. So Sadie Kane is a character I've been doing since I was 17 years old. She is one of the oldest, probably, She's like the second character I was very obsessed with when I was a kid, and I am really excited that I get to cosplay her now as an adult. But like, she she hasn't changed much at all, like in the slightest. She is very much one of those characters where I got a wig, I kind of already had everything I needed, and I never really thought twice about it. She's evolved with my makeup, but that's about it. Now. That is not to say that I have not gotten little knickknacks for her. So I do have a jacket for her. I have her shirt. Um, that's about it. <laughs> that's literally the only things I've ever changed. Maybe her pants over the years, but that's because I just didn't have certain pants anymore. That kind of stuff. So when I say I'm doing an overhaul, I'm doing an overhaul. And I've been cosplaying her since like 2017. So this is going to be a very interesting experience, but a very exciting one at that. Because, well, we're going to her first Goodwill. I have not gotten into what we're looking for. So for Sadie's original outfit, which is the main thing we're looking for, it's a very easy outfit. It's kind of like a jacket situation. It's, I looked up the color, apparently it's called Old Burgundy. It looks great to me. Uh, there is, she wears a blue shirt. She has scripted, described, scripted, 
in her picture she has like this brownish color jeans but in her in the books she's described as having ripped up jeans so we're kind of looking for both and then i had to look at the graphic novels for this but you know her classic combat boots they kind of go up to her mid calf so we're looking for that today so before we go into goodwill that is basically the lowdown i already have her necklace i already have her bag and then the little extras like i said before are gonna be her linens and her dress because i really want to get her dress but that is if we see it if it sparks joy otherwise we're just going in so um i'll see you on the inside hi we're home i took off my contacts because it's later and i don't want to wear them makeup's coming off soon too but i know i said that I'm gonna do some online shopping tonight. I will, and I'm gonna show you what I usually do. But I figured might as well show you guys what I already have, so that way we know what we're working with. Some of the stuff might get replaced. What's in my hand is one of those things. So this is Sadie's old necklace. If you would big focus, thank you. So I've had this thing since I started cosplaying the girl back in 2017, 2016, 2017. I definitely was not cosplaying Sadie in 2017. And, um, yeah, I just did a quick Google search, and I, I would have to make my own, because it's either too expensive, or they're too small, or they just don't exist at all. There's not many of these guys out there. Surprisingly enough, this is actually a really common symbol, so I was kind of surprised. The Ankh, on the other hand, that was not hard to find. But, I might have to paint this, because it's gold. On her picture and it I imagine it's gold in general and I'm definitely replacing this chain because if you take a good close inspection on this well uh, it's knotted in many different aspects of the word it has hair stuck in it <laughs> it's not it's not that pretty nor is that comfortable to wear anymore the only great part about it is I can put it over my head, which I'm not going to do because my lips like a little sticky. Oh, I kissed it. <laughs> but that is the first thing I have from Sadie. The other thing I have, let's do a quick jump cut. I'm, <laughs> you're shorter, I'm not shorter. It's her bag. I actually got this from work. I got this for free. It's so nice that I got this thing for free. <laughs> But it has this on here, I'm gonna have to cut that off. It's a little dirty. So this is one of those things where I mentioned before, I'm gonna have to clean it. Please focus on this and not me, please. Um, if you notice, there's little specks of dirt on here or like stains and stuff like that. But for the most part, it's actually really cool. It's a camera bag and it has a, I can't really show you guys very well, but it has like a little um, hard bottom, and it's the inner inside is leather. There's actually a ton of pockets, and I was looking for something that I could store stuff with. Very easy. And on top of that, it's the perfect color, and I can put pins on here if I want to. And I will. Trust me, I will. But it's really comfy to wear. It has stains on it, like kind of everywhere, like especially right here. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do about that, but. This is one of the other things that I have for Sadie Kane, and I very much love it. And it actually, it's home is right there, so let me put that away for you. Lastly, I think I mentioned this earlier, is her leather jacket. And um, give me a second, I gotta do some movie magic. Be right back. So this right here is the newer leather jacket I have for her. It also might get replaced. Purely because it's not the right color, not exactly what I'm looking for, but it's like close enough so I won't be mad if I can't find anything. It's really cute. I freaking love it. It has like these little decals, if you will, right here. So it kind of gives that like adventurer vibe to it. And it fits me really nicely. I can just kind of do this and it, it fits my figure. It has the right neckline and everything unlike with my so unlike with talia 
where I actually did go for a different kind of neckline and I got her a hoodie because I was very attached to this one fan art. Sadie, I kind of want to go a little more towards what she has because she, though she has fan art, not as much as this one. <laughs> and I think that if I kind of go off of her, I'm really going to be happy with what I need. I do need to look a little more fan art, but if all goes well, I will find a new leather jacket for her and I'll have this cute one instead. Trust me, because of Talia, I have a ton back here, but um, this one was the winner in the end. And it wasn't even like accurate accurate, but it was accurate for me and I hope I find something kind of along the lines of that. So, But so far, this is basically what we're working with. This bag, this jacket, and well, the necklace is down here. And. Maybe it's all gonna get replaced. I doubt this is gonna get replaced. This was hard to find in the first place. These things go for so much money. And it looks beat up and it's perfect. But now, we get to do the fun part. Or the boring part. I don't really know. It's honestly, I'm probably gonna be in the zone. And I might do some voiceover stuff later. But I get to go shopping. So, it's fun anyway. Either way. Let me actually get to the point and get there. See you in a second. Hi, future Anna, 2024 Anna, January 25th of 2024 Anna. That was filmed back in October 2022. Little did I know, I would actually just forget the complete online shopping bit. I did film a little like things here and there, but it was really hard to film stuff like that. So I do apologize. I do do quite a bit of online shopping. And just to get it out of the way, I shop mostly on Poshmark. Um, that's where I bought everything uh, that has to do with Sadie for the most part. So, just so you know, I'm getting that out of the way now. I basically bought a lot of Sadie stuff online, um, but I just completely forgot to film pretty much all of that. But there's more to come. It's just I wanted to give a little editor's note that... I didn't do the thing that I said I was going to do multiple times already. But I did the other things, so stay tuned. Well, that was, um, fruitful. <laughs> As predicted. So, next up, we're actually going to head to our first, like, real goodwill. I've been going to this thing for years. For the most part, it's been pretty okay. I've actually managed to get a lot from this goodwill. But for you know when you're actually looking for something it's not gonna show up so I am not putting my hopes up high but I am gonna say I have found a lot of jeans there so at the very least at the very least I'm gonna find her blue jeans I did see some nice blue jeans at the store which is hat it's just their blue jeans are a little more pricey than um, what I personally want to buy for used blue jeans uh, especially torn ones I almost did get though her brown pants so it wasn't completely terrible I almost walked out with the dress but I tried the dress on I didn't like it but on the right track we're on the right track I sell some blue t-shirts so that weren't the right color nor the right fabric I wanted but we're on the right track we're getting there we're figuring it out this is kind of how, how I roll I just like sit there simmer and figure out what I want um, and then, and then we, we, we figure it out as we go along. So cross our fingers, only spend a half hour in there. We have three and a half hours left before everything closes. So we gotta go. All right, let's go. That took a total of 10 minutes. We are not at another place. Please, please, please have something cute. This one is, mm, I'll admit, this one always has like, when I find things, I find things. I found some Natalia shirts here, like, when I find stuff here, I find stuff here. So, let's cross our fingers that we find something, because I, I really want to find her pants today. I really do. Like, I almost grabbed and thread something on in the last place, but I, then I remembered, oh, wait, they're a little expensive for pants um, from a thrift store, so. Yeah. Let's hope, let's hope, let's hope, let's hope. It's almost 8 o'clock, everything kind of closes at 8, so we have an hour. Wish me luck! So these are the pants I went with for Sadie. They were a gamble, to say the least, because the store was actually closing in like 10-20 minutes, 
and the changing rooms, therefore, were also closed. So I had no clue if this would fit me when I bought it. I didn't even know if I could return it. I just knew that these were the exact color I needed and that I would not find these pants again. They were the only ones like this on the rack and I basically ran home, neatly tried them on, and with a sigh of relief, I was able to button them all the way up. They have four buttons and if you notice, they may be a little wet in a certain area. That's because I'm trying to stretch them out in that certain area. And I can confirm this worked. I basically just used some warm water, wore them and did some squats. It sounds ridiculous, but it, apparently it's an old trick for jeans and stuff like that. And it really worked. I am very comfortable in these jeans now. Several days later. Okay, so, um, that was surprising. <laughs> and by that I mean, I never shop at Ross, but guess what I found at Ross? I found her t-shirt. I found her t-shirt at Ross. How did I find it at Ross? No one will know. I don't know. I'm losing some sunlight. Night time. I'm losing light as I'm talking, but. Somehow, some way, I found, I found this. I got lucky, I guess. I don't know. All right, like I was saying outside, but then decided it's probably better to talk about it in here. I found, I found her shirt in the exact color I needed. As you might have saw in the B-roll that I have hopefully put up to, to explain, I got the shirt from Ross. But the thing is, when I don't go to Ross, and this is really weird, but this is like the second time in a row that I've gone out shopping. It's the last store I hit and decide to hit. I'm at a kind of wits end a little bit like, oh, I haven't found anything today. Um, and then it's just like, nope, guess what? We're going to actually give you the thing we, you want in the exact color you need, which is great. I'm not complaining. I'm just like noticing a trend here. It's also a third story each time. Anyway, so rude. Oh, I am in a parking lot. So, we are here now, and I actually bought two shirts, because if you notice in the B-roll, I was only holding one, and then in the checkout, I was holding two of the exact same shirt. That's because they're two different sizes. The thing is, the size that I bought, or like, sorry, the size that I tried on was fine. It fit me fine, just not in the right way I want it to fit. So I was hoping, I'm hoping that the larger size does fine. I just was too awkward to go back into the changing room with a different size. Not because I was embarrassed, it's just more of like, it looked like the store was getting ready to close and I did not want to be one of those people. So, <laughs> uh, so I bought two different sizes. The small size, the smaller size, which is a size medium because it was in juniors, is for just in case the bigger size is actually a little bit too big. Keeping the receipt, but all in all, spent under 10 bucks today so right now we're rocking a total of like probably under 30 dollars and which is great because the most expensive bits i'm expecting to be is the jacket and the shoes but now we have the pants now we have the shirt now we just gotta look for the jacket and the shoes which is so nice to focus on for just under a week. I am very surprised that I'm able to find what I found uh, for the main outfit. Have I found what I need to find for everything else? No, but on the right side, I found everything I needed to find for the main outfit. So that is really nice. It's very nice. I'm not gonna push my luck. Um, so we're gonna go home. I'm very hungry. So next time you see me, I might be eating. Next time you see me, I might be trying on the, sh the shirt shoes i might be shining on the shirt so let's go home i is hungry it's been a long day so we're home i got myself food that i still need to eat from uh ye old panda express i'm hungry and this shirt this shirt this is the shirt of the summer size and as you probably have assumed i'm wearing the one of the bigger size I actually really like the one of the bigger size. If I could, I would show you how well it fits. So I'm wearing the pants right now, and I am also wearing, like, just, you know, 
the, the shirt in the large size for juniors from Ross and it is perfect. I already have tried, like I looked with the jacket and it looks really good, but I want to see if I can get the accurate jacket. But now that we have the shirt, now that we have the pants, um, we are on a mission for looking for the jacket, the boots, as well as her dress, which I have started looking for on Poshmark, because I'm being very particular about it. I know what kind of dress I want. I just need to find it somewhere in the cosmos. <laughs> but like I said, we are looking for her dress. We are looking for her jacket. We're looking for her boots. We are also looking for the entirety of her pretty much magic outfit and her fan outfit, which I'm not too concerned about finding. If I don't find it, oh well. But I do want to find it eventually. That'd be very nice because she wears like in her fan outfits and her fan art, a lot of it, she has like torn jeans and then that's very much my style. Um, as for her shirt, I have no freaking clue. And then like basically the jacket I already own or a new jacket that I would probably use anyway. So it's going to be a combination of things and I'm very excited about it. But for now, for now, I'm going to eat this, do some more research as well as work on some other stuff that I've been meaning to work on. And I'll see you whenever I see you next. Okay, bye. <laughs> Several months later. Okay, hi. So it's been a long time, obviously. Uh, last time I checked in, it was back in October. But as you can see, the reason why I'm checking in now, and as you can see, I have a microphone on me, but I'm on the go. I'm on vacation, actually. I'm all the way in Colorado. And I was hoping to actually get something for CD, and I did. You see this earring? You can't see the other earring. Let me just drop this real quick so you're going to get some noise disturbance. But I do want to show you the other side of these earrings. So... When I get the chance, I will show you a better look at these, but essentially I went into this vintage shop and these are locally, like these are from Denver and um, they're like four karat gold and they just fit so well with Sadie's themings and everything in between that I had to get these for her. I can't wait to like wear these. Is this it from Mercana Cosplay? Absolutely freaking not, but I don't care. It, they look amazing. I'm very excited for it, just to put it together with her cosplay. It's been months and I just can't wait to get started on her again. Um, the reason why I did stop is because of the fact that Holiday Matsuri just kind of took over my life. Um, I did, uh, if you, I haven't put out the vlog yet, then the vlog is definitely going to be on its way. It's probably already out by the time I post this video, not going to lie. But but since I'm not working on convention stuff anymore, I am full reign to getting back to Sadie and I'm very excited about these earrings. They are just, just, ah, they're so cute and I love them so much. So I can't wait to just like let loose and ha wear these for her. So, um, also it came with a really cute little baggie. One second. So. We're, this is like our, my special little piece for her. These are, um, it says it's a vintage shop. I'm not sure they are a vintage shop because they had multiple different things for this, but I'm just saying, it's, it's really cool. <laughs> All right, happy holidays, you guys. I'll see you when I see you. So we are back in our hotel room, basically. And uh, I finally get to, sh I told you guys I was gonna show you the earrings, hopefully without a Hakuku mustache, <laughs> but Essentially, the idea here is that she did meet Nut, and, you know, she's the sky. She basically, every time Sadie has met her, she was literally, like, s stars and not the moon. The moon's another god, but, like, you get my point. So, when I saw these and I saw they were gold, I was like, oh, automatically. Also, I have a whole thing about, like, moon and, like, sunny earrings, so. This was just really cute, and I, this is just the more of the close-up of these. Essentially, if they focus very well. No, not gonna focus on this. <laughs> Basically, these are the earrings. Um, and I will literally wear these for Sadie. I don't, I don't care. I think they're really cute, and I don't care if it's not even part of her um, main like canon cosplay. I think they're like a nice little addition, a personal little thing, and. Well, I got them on vacation, so I think that's a plus. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time I see you. I don't really know when, but uh, with luck, hopefully in a few weeks. If not, I'll see you in a few months. If not, I'll see you in another dimension. All right, bye. <laughs> so yeah, I got her earrings, and today, today, this is why I'm doing this check-in, I got her her dress. 
So this dress has a black mesh over basically like a bluish gray sparkly material and it's very pretty. It reminds me of her interactions with Nut. I love them. Uh, here's some footage of just me trying it on and like just absolutely vibing but not really knowing because I did see another dress in the Goodwill and I tried it on and I was thinking about dyeing it black so it would be like the perfect dress for that from that scene. I didn't know so much between them that I actually called my father telling him what was up and asked him, hey, what would you let me wear at the age of 12? Um, he wasn't exactly helpful, but I feel like it was a uh, good mention because he said I looked good in both of them, uh, therefore he wouldn't have let me wear either of them, which is very much a dad thing to say. Hi, dad. Uh, <laughs> with that being said, I did obviously pick up uh, this dress or pick out this dress. And the funny thing was, I found out as I was taking off this dress, I feel like I need to mention this, that it's from Delia's. And if any of you guys remember from the early 2000s to 2010s, uh, Delia's was a store filled with, you know, it was a clothing store, but they had these amazing party dresses and I ate it up as a 12 year old. That was like my store to go to for like any kind of party dress, any formal dresses. Um, here, insert picture of me, like, from Christmas of, like, 2012, 20, not even 2013, just 2012 specifically, just wearing a red dress from Delius that I wore all the time for any occasion that I had to dress formal for because I loved that dress so much and I actually had to get rid of it because I grew out of it. That in the bow, there was, like, a bow on the back that, like, fell apart. But... It's just kind of poetic in a way that I ended up finding a dress from Delia's because far, as far as I can tell, I can't find them anywhere. So it's kind of hilarious to me that this this one dress that I'm buying for a 12 to 13 year old cosplay exists. But don't forget, we still got, at this point in time, at this point in time, I still need to find her jacket, her boots, um, and there is a strong possibility at this point that I will probably just make her linen uh, clothing and then uh, we'll be done with her, which is kind of exciting. Well, I also want to make her streetwear, but then we'll be done with her, which is very exciting. I am very excited, but I'm also working currently at this time. I want to mention I am working on other cosplays all at once. So this was a blessing, but also I have a lot to do. I'm currently working on Percy right now, as well as Sadie, as well as Roman Sanders, and some other cosplays. So, I'm gonna go eat. I am hungry. See you guys when I see you next, because I don't know, it was, it, last time I did this I think was back in, like, November. So, uh, let's hope it doesn't, this, that doesn't happen again. Bye! <laughs> Hi, it's been... A little while you might notice I have a new little toy I'm, I'm I'm testing it out I have something that I'm doing later this week um so like I said it's been a while and if you're wondering how long the last time I filmed anything for this video as a talking head was in December I think yeah it was in December and um The Sun of the Star came out last month. I'm currently reading The Sun of the Star. It is June. It is June. Yeah, it's been a long time. I have found one thing and that is pants. And I will show you video of me finding those here. Cause I do have, I did take, make sure to take footage of that. I found pants for Sadie's pajama outfit. But the big thing, the big thing I've been searching for for months and months and months months was her boots because those are like a huge thing it was like a huge thing when I was a kid and it's a huge thing still now and um this the reason for it is yes partially because it's like it's a sentimental thing it's a soft spot that's why I got my first pair of combat boots that whole spiel right but also <laughs> Sadie wears one pair of boots for the most part throughout the entirety of the series so I wanted to make sure that I got boots that would match everything 
and that would be as accurate to what I felt like she would wear. Um, and I also used the graphic novels as a reference because I don't know what is with Gregorian characters. For the most part, we don't see their feet. So I had to kind of like dig. Talia had this problem, Percy had this issue. Oh my gosh, Percy had that issue. Um, and other characters that I'm looking at right now have this problem. But luckily, that's where the graphic novels came in. That's what I did with Talia and that's what I did with Sadie. But the thing was, the thing is, I personally like thrift shopping when it comes to cosplay. I could not find anything on Poshmark, um, could not find anything on eBay, Amazon, anything that I liked. Nope. Went through many Goodwills, uh, many different thrift stores, could not find anything. And then one day, I was perusing the internet, as you will, and I found this company. Um, I'm keeping it close, I actually haven't seen these boots yet. I found this company and I love it. Um, these boots, I'm so excited to open up. I actually, by happenstance, a friend of mine kind of told me that they've had boots from many boots from the, this company that have lasted like a decade. So disclaimer though, they're expensive. They're really expensive. If these don't fit, I will cry. I'm not saying this as hyperbole. These cost a lot of money. So um, it costs more than my Riptide sword, actually. <laughs> See this laugh? It's a laugh of pain. Um, this arrived today and I'm so, I'm just, I'm so psyched. I've, it's taken everything in me not to open it as soon as I went, got home from work. Um, I went home on my break. This was on the doorstep and I almost opened it and then I was like, oh wait, I have a video that I'm making. Yes, it's been that long. I am not joking when I say that I have done squat when it comes to this cosplay. And it's not because I haven't been looking. It's because I haven't, I have been looking that I haven't found anything. Plus my life has gotten really busy as of this past year. So lots happening, but we're, we're trying to get back on the horse. Next time I film, I promise I will try my best to do what I'm doing now. Anyway, without further ado, let's open this baby up. Cause I'm so excited. Oh, other thing about this, they are in men's sizes. They are in men's sizes. And this is a size five, and I am praying this fits me. Um, Oh, they're huge and I love them oh my gosh please fit I will scream they don't look like they're gonna fit my feet they look huge they look huge um I'm gonna try these on They're very squeaky. I don't even know if you've seen this old woman. Oh my god. They're heavy. They're not heavy heavy. I can walk around them just fine. But like... I'm gonna put Sadie... I'm putting Sadie's old um, jacket on just to see. I can't... Once I find Sadie's jacket... I'm looking myself in the mirror right now, dude. Once I find Sadie's jacket, once I find Sadie's jacket, wait, I have not even worn the best part. Let me get the necklace. I regret nothing. I regret. Nothing. Look at this. Look at this. So constructively, I found Sadie's boots. <laughs> Unconstructively, I don't regret getting these boots. Um, 
Yeah, I can't, I can't. They also make me a little taller, which I'm not, uh, the mirror's right there, I'm sorry, uh, which I'm not used to, and just like, Yeah, I need to find I need to find her jacket and I need to find her shirt. That's literally all that's left at this point, besides like replacing this. Um I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just at a loss for words. I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so uh, enough with the gibbering. I have other projects I need to work on. I'm currently working on Todoroki's uh Megacon video, so I need to get on that. I'm also working on Rachel and I'm getting, I'm, I'm in the process of making, um, Percy's stuff. So, uh, <laughs> let me get, let me get into all that stuff so that way I can just focus on this. Hi. So it's been a while. <laughs> um, I don't know when the last time I at all filmed for this video, but I found a few things. I kind of quickly filmed it and didn't really talk about it very much but I've, I've gotten at this point I have gotten majority of her outfit pretty much done um, I need to get her pendant going um, but if I start talking about what I don't have I'm gonna get off track let's talk about what I do have so if you notice there's a box right here I ordered a jacket off of Poshmark and this right here deserves a little bit of story before I even open this up because I'm super nervous about this not fitting me. <laughs> I'm actually very nervous about this not fitting me. So the thing is, um, essentially what happened was I started to look around for Sadie's jacket, obviously about a year ago now, like over a year ago. And <laughs> little did I know how, uh, what's the word, mystifying this jacket would be to me. Um, it just completely kept just not doing great. So this starts with me about a month ago looking, getting back into looking for Sadie's stuff. And if you're wondering why it took me so long to get back into this, um, I've been busy. Some of those videos are already out, but like it's MegaCon has already happened, um, uh, Hallmat happened, uh, MetroCon has happened, which I don't know when this video will be out, so maybe it hasn't happened for you guys yet, but it's happened for me. Um, I, if you're on my TikTok, I, my Percy Jackson stuff, uh, the day I got expelled was filmed over the course of four months. Like, I've been busy, so I haven't had the time to get back to this. And I've been trying, slowly. Anyway, so when I finally found the time, I dedicated that to f trying to find Sadie's jacket, because I already had her pants for her, um, linen pajama outfit, and like, I already had her boots for all her outfits, and all that fun stuff. But the jacket, the jacket, uh, was stress. Um, so basically what happened was I was on Poshmark looking around because I kind of figured I wasn't going to find anywhere at Goodwill or anything like that. I've looked enough. And I start perusing and I get really specific about what I want, what I don't want, that kind of fun stuff. And I find a jacket by the brand called Miss London, and there's three different times I find this jacket. Each single time, it was a complete dead end. The first time, um, I actually had to text the person on Instagram and ask them if they still had the jacket. The answer was no, by the way, this person on Instagram. Huge freaking following. Jeez. This person, if I remember right, had over 2,000... They, they had a lot. They had a lot. I, for privacy reasons, obviously, although they are a huge Instagrammer, um, I'm not gonna put them here. I'm just going to state that I was surprised that they did, they even answered me. Um, so yeah, so they didn't have it. The other jacket I found, I didn't even try. The person hadn't been active since 2015. This is when I found out that the company, Miss London, hasn't existed since 2016, 2015, my bad. Um, and then the last jacket, I bought it, the person accepted my offer, and then radio silence for about a week. And I'm like, okay, I don't get a tracking number, nothing. I try again. Radio silence. I contact them every single day. Oh, sorry, I'll ship it today. 
A personal stuff. Okay, sure. Two days go by. Nothing. A week goes by. Okay, we get it. I get it. I see how it goes. And so I ended up ordering this jacket. This was my backup. This was not the jacket I really wanted, but this was the second best thing. It has the right coloring. It has most of the things I wanted. The only issue is the size bigger than I am. So I am hoping, I am praying after a month of just absolute terror um, that this fits. I, I'm gonna be so upset if it doesn't and it's going to make it into the video because I don't care, I am that petty, I'm so upset. Um, but I got my money back, but still, I, like, I'm at the brink of like, I will probably contact that person and ask again if they can relist the item if this doesn't go through. That's how badly I wanted that jacket. So, let's open this up. It's not a small business, it is literally. <gasps> okay, okay. Sorry, this is not good lighting. Hang on, let me go try this on somewhere. I kinda love this. This is cute. So, hi, okay, so here's the thing, um, and don't mind this, this is, I'm recording the audio here as well as on the camera, so, uh, yes, we're in that era. I literally just this past week finally filmed, um, my Megacon 2023 at home part of the vlog and edited it and everything's all set. It's August, sorry, it's September, let me put it that way. It's September 2023, so it's been about a year since I've started this video, but here's the thing i've been matching this super well i'll put a better picture of her on the screen but um look look at this this is this is this is this is spot on this is spot on excuse my language but it is it is so spot on hang on let me just try this on to finally before i get Essentially, I wanted this, which this literally has. I wanted the sleeves and the little bottom part to be kind of like the stretchy thing. Um, I hated how leather the leather ones looked a lot, like a lot. <laughs> um, I wanted this to be able to stand up on its own, but not be too like high, but it literally reaches my chin, which is awesome. Um, the one thing that I really tried to get was this, but you know what? It has this lining right here, so that's fine. This is so cool. Um, yeah, so if you, excuse me, you can see it on me now. This is what it looks like. Um, I have some other things to do that pertain to this. I'm not going to deny that, but I have other things to do today. But the, the, this is a quick little check-in, and I'm wearing her boots, and... Okay, I'm really happy with this. I am actually really happy with this. Okay, so I'm gonna stop gushing over this because I do need to do other things that pertain to this as well as other different cosplay and stuff. I've been busy. <laughs> um, so I will see you whenever I see you next and that is a very true statement for this video because I, like I said, it's been months <laughs> since I've done anything for this video. So um, I'll see you. Hopefully not around the holidays, <laughs> but soon, hopefully. Bye! Okay, hello. Um, excuse the mic and lighting situation. I just got home from doing errands, and um, earlier today, I got a package. You want to guess what this package is? Remember how I said, and I probably have, if this worked out, then you have clips of me already saying this already, but um, remember how I said that I would make the last shirt 
No, that was not going to happen. I did do like research and try to find something that would match the pants and everything, but just could not find anything for the life of me. So I went to Bash, back, Bash, I went back to Poshmark and um, I bought a shirt. I'm unsure of how this is going to work, but I bought a shirt. Oh, they wrapped it. They they, they wrapped it, wrapped it. Oh, that's the same thing, but the thing I got from the other dude. Nice. So, let's, my main concern here is, my main, sorry, let's not do this while I'm doing that. My main concern here is that it won't, not that it won't fit, but that it won't be the same color that I need it to be. So I'm just really worried about that. Um, Oh, okay. Oh, this is huge. This is a small. This is huge. Hang on. I'm going to go um, grab the pants real quick and check the color against it. But I think I'm good. So this is how everything is looking right now so far. Um, at first, first glance, it was not my favorite thing in the world. I was not exactly all that happy about it. So, okay. Boxes behind me. But then I kind of like added a belt and I was like, okay, like it works. It works. Um, I was already planning on adding things like the colors aren't exact. Um, although looking at this light, they kind of do look the same, but like for the most part, <laughs> But like as I was playing with it, it kind of grew on me. I kind of like it. Um, they're not the same color, but it is the right fit. I was kind of worried that this was not going to be the same fit. By the way, this belt is actually that. So there's that. But like, it works for what I need it for. Um, it kind of gives off like that adventurous vibe to it. Like it, it works. I like it. Um, it seems like a lot of Sadie's like last items seem to be they work i'll make improvements if I, um the best i can kind of thing this outfit is more accessories if anything like i want to add things right here because it's so plain <laughs> um which i know is the point in the books but like it's not not my thing i want like i want accessories i want to add a belt i want to add something right here if i can manage it add something on the sleeves maybe um like, you know, just zhuzh it up a little bit. But for the most part, yeah, it works. Um, yeah, I have not much to say about it. I'm not all that excited about it. Just because, like, even though, like, my basically the, my biggest criticism is just it's not the right color. But it does work. So, like, I'm going to work with it um, until eventually one day I find something better. Um, cosplay for me is a lot about change, so, like, um, we'll see if, if I ever find something better online, if it bugs me enough, I will, like, probably replace this thing, uh, or this thing. Who knows who will get replaced, but, like, for the most part, not bad. I kind of like it. It's very comfy, very roomy, um, and, uh, it definitely just needed a belt. Like, it just, to break it up. Like, it just, it, it just, I don't know. Um... But that's my thoughts on this. And that being said, I do need to educate myself on how to create 3D models because I want to remake Sadie's ne oh, Sadie's necklace as I have it right here, um, which I can almost guarantee this is going to take a little while. Um, but it's just it's so small, so I just kind of want to remake it and 3D print it because I have a 3D printer now and might as well you have an excuse to use it. Um, but first I gotta figure out a way to just make this design over again. Ooh, it broke. This thing's old. Oh, it broke, broke. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my thoughts on this outfit so far. It's cute. It's, 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 it works for what I need it for. So it's like, yeah. Okay, this is a quickie because I'm also working on something else, but I wanted to include this in the video because I just finally printed 
this wonderful 3D print of her necklace amulet. And yes, it's going to, I'm going to go a more length as to how I made this when I get the chance, but it is now printed and done. Obviously it has some defects going on, but like for the most part, it's fine. And I am very excited for this. So I'm gonna wait for this to cool down, but yeah, I just 3D printed her little amulet. Look at that, that's so cool. <laughs> and I designed it myself. Can't give you the detailed version, but I can give you the Cliff Notes version. Step one, crash course in 3D modeling. I learned in both Tinkercad and Blender, but I primarily use Blender. The middle part's from Tinkercad, but everything else is just a bunch of cylinders or ellipticals that I just attach to each other somehow. Step two, finish the 3D model. Use the reference I have. Uh, in my case, I had the necklace. Step three, print it out and basically a lot of trial and error, just kind of figuring out, oh, I went in this size, and then I ended up flipping the little loop sideways so that way it wasn't hanging weird. Step four. Well, we're about to do step four, and that is sanding and painting. Hi, editing Anna. Um, just quickly wanted to mention, give an honorable mention to the belt buckle that I also worked on about a few months later. Um, I think, when did I make that? December, December. So December 2023. I apparently didn't film any of it, which is odd because I did a lot of filming of the amulet and it seems like I did no filming of the <laughs> of the process of the belt buckle. So I quickly want to put in, in case it's not there, that I used basically Rust-Oleum normal gold spray paint and um, filler paint to fill both the amulet and the um, buckle while like sanding everything and all that. So. Um, yeah, I basically used mostly Rust-Oleum products uh, for the belt buckle. It looks great. You'll see it later. Uh, yeah, sorry I didn't film it. I was kind of trying to rush at this point. <laughs> Back to our regularly scheduled programming, we got Rust-Oleum Orange Shiny Spray Paint, which is an amazing base coat. I learned this trick when I did my Riptide Sword all the way back of February of 2023, so a year ago from when I'm recording this. That being said, the gold, the gold color, is Emperor's Gold. I got it at a Hobby Lobby. It worked like a charm. Another trick I used from a Riptide Sword is a combination of using a little brush this time because it's so itty bitty, and a makeup sponge. And I just dab, dab, dab until I couldn't dab no more. It works like a charm. It gets that nice sheen to it. It looks all even. It's kind of, think of it like a beauty blender, but just with paint. I then attached two gold necklace chains to make one long necklace chain that would reach down to about my chest. And voila, we got a Not Advices necklace that looks really nice if I do say so myself. I did say there's going to be some sewing involved. I did not actually think I meant it. So here's some fabric that I got at Joann's. It's quilting cotton. It's obviously a brown color. And here's a method that I did not end up using because it, the glove was way too tight. This is meant for stretchy fabrics, and I learned that the hard way after hand sewing the entire thing. Trial and error, tried a new method. That new method was follow the gloves that I already had, but for cheap. I went to Five Below, grabbed some very cheap exercise gloves, and took them apart to use as a pattern to trace and cut out. So that way I could get a glove very similar to what she is wearing. And this was the perfect method. It lets my hand move around. We good. So basically after I cut out the hand portion and the thumb portions, which were two different pieces, I just pinned it together and sewed it together. So we got something along the lines of what you saw in the first clip. And then I hot glued on the golden trim, which gives the illusion that it's actually attached onto the glove versus technically attached but really just glued on. And to get that closure, I put little pin buttons, I don't know what they're called, snaps, they're called snaps, into the seam of the gloves, so that way it just looks like one long line with a little bit of a hole in it. Yeah, the button situation, not that complicated. Two golden buttons that I got at Joann's to match the buttons on the picture and then sewed them on and hot glued them on. That it.
All right, moving on. So I made two different bags, one for the hip and one for the leg. The one I filmed was one for the hip. It's the same exact pattern, just a little smaller than the leg bag. I used duck canvas cotton to make these bags. And I also used an old camera bag I had lying around to make the pattern for the smaller bag, just so I had the right sizing. After I had everything traced and cut out, I traced it again on some interfacing to make the bags a lot more stiff because I wanted them to stand on their own. Once I had all the interfacing ironed on, I went ahead and sewed everything together, sewed on the button and the snaps, and voila, we're all set. I also added a strap to the leg bag and as well as like some parachute buckles to make it fastened. And then, and then I added snaps to the pants because the leg bag kept falling down and it was getting really annoying. This part should come with a warning of just don't use a spray can as a hammer. Nothing happened, but I don't think it's a good idea. Do as I say, not as I do, please. With that out of the way, this is the belt section. The belt section includes me cutting off a belt buckle on the actual belt because it was way too big and I got it from Goodwill. So it was cheap, it was perfect color wise, but it was way too big for me. So I had to size it down. I had to cut off the belt buckle anyway because I was gonna add the new one that I 3D printed and painted myself. Remember that one I mentioned earlier? It's coming back. So I wired it in after I did a lot of hammering to create holes to put these little pin things. I don't know what they're called, but they keep everything attached to the actual belt. And then essentially I fiddled with some wires and created more holes on the other side of the belt so it looked a little more realistic and not like it just had a few holes in the belt just cause they were there. And there we go, we got our perfect little belt. Oh, this bag, this lovely bag that took forever to figure out, oh, I can't clean it. Stain remover took the color off the canvas and baking soda, baking soda would not remove the stain that I figured out was coming from inside the strap. It was a very stubborn stain, a very obvious stain and I had enough so I went to Goodwill and got myself a belt that literally was actually pretty dead on. So everything that was wrong with it ended up working out for the better. It was just frustrating in the process. Okay, hello, hello. Um, I'm sorry, the frame, I know the framing is off. Let me just like fix that, there we go. So, that's something. Um, obviously we are somewhere. I just got out of Goodwill again. Um, and the little emergency that I've been having with the belt, which I don't know if I've been putting this clip before or after, but the little emergency I'm having with the belt, uh, the belt, the bag, <laughs> Um, the little emergency I'm having with the bag, uh, we, it's less of an emergency because I did actually really like the strap. It's not completely the color, but neither is the OG strap. Um, but it's pretty, pretty stinking close. So I really do like this. I am still going to go to the other Goodwill though, because I know me and I'm going to make sure that I covered all my bases. This is reasonably long. Like I can actually put this around my body and be fine and the best part is this isn't bolted in it's stitching so I can just like very carefully take out the stitches in here and then um, essentially sew it back on and it comes with its own thingies so I can just like tear apart the old ones and then put this back basically put this in there um, and it, so that way it's like you know it hangs out um, if worst comes to worst anyway so I do like this strap I it's close enough to the OG straps um, that I'm okay with it it's also close enough to Sadie's actual straps that I'm okay with it so like I said though I am still gonna go to the other Goodwill and you will know if I found something because I will be filming it and it will be it'll make it in also can we like appreciate my makeup real quick it's so pretty anyway so I'm gonna go to the Goodwill and um, then I'm gonna go home because I, <laughs> I'm trying to get this done by Megacon. Sorry, my phone is like running out of space because of this video. I'm trying to get this done by Megacon and of 2024.
that's where we're at right now. I'm not even joking. It is 2024 now and I need to get, like I have, it's January. <laughs> Megacon is on February 1st. If you catch my drift, that's how much I need to get this done. So wish me luck. <laughs> on the bright side, you guys get the wig video quicker out of it, kind of, not really, but Anyway, bye! So the main struggle with getting the new strap on the bag was getting the old strap off the bag. At this point, the old strap was cut off, but the thing is, the metal pieces that attached them on were really strong, which is great, because that means this was a high-quality bag. But it also meant that these straps were really hard to get on in the first place, as well as getting the old ones off because they were literally hammered in. So I had to struggle with the multi-tool for freaking hours. <laughs> just twisting and pulling and doing anything I can to just open them up, just enough to slide them off. And then put the new ones back on and bend those back in. It was a process, but that's why we're making the video, isn't it? And finally, at least from your perspective, the last thing I did was iron on a Union Jack to cover up the stains I accidentally made while washing the bag. I know the irony in the statement. But it matches the pins I actually ended up putting on the bag. She does have pins in her photo, but they're not all that detailed, so I just did my best guess of what she would have in her bag. I love it. I think it turned out really, really nice. And with that, let's go to the outro. Huh? Two years in. We're finally at the end. So we're finally here. We're at the outro. I am ecstatic. Um, I won't lie. I've done a few takes of this because there was like a sewer situation in the background and they turned that back on. Sorry. <laughs> it's gonna be there. But I'm so excited. I am so excited to finish this video because I didn't think this would take two years. <laughs> I started this video in October 2022. It is now January 2024. I, it, it, it boggles my mind, at least. <laughs> but I also want to acknowledge the fact that I didn't know that I was ma gonna make a fourth outfit. I completely forgot about the fan-made outfit. <laughs> Went over my head. I completely forgot about it. I only know about it now because I recently looked at some of the footage from like 2022 that I had saved and in the intro, I talk about making a fan made outfit. At what length? I have no stinking clue. <laughs> I guess that's for editor Anna to find out. She's probably gonna put a sassy comment here somewhere. But that's beside the point. Let's talk about what I'm super excited about. I learned new skills. Sadie's done and I learned new skills over the course of two years. I got a 3D printer. I learned how to 3D model and 3D print. And I have to stand and print uh, 3D prints, uh, not because of Sadie, that was because of Percy, but same realm, different person. And I designed, I designed, I designed this! Look! Look at this thing! Isn't that so cool? I, I designed this. This all started because I wasn't happy with this and her wig, and... and <laughs> I also like learned how to sew things together properly from scratch, literally making nothing into something. I made nothing into something, including this. That's, sorry about the jump cut, there was a plane. <laughs> I made nothing into something, including this, and, and, and I modified almost every single thing on her outfit. Almost, almost. Her main outfit, not so much, but I modified uh, her own bag to cover up things that weren't so sightly, to say the least. <laughs> um, and in emergencies, too. I went to more Goodwills than I would like to uh, admit. <laughs> I managed to find the perfect outfits for her for the other three. I got the dress that was literally, literally from Delia's, a shop where I used to shop at when I was actually Sadie's age, 12 years old, my favorite dress shop. I had my favorite dress from there. Here's a picture of that, because I know I can find that. I use it a lot to show the, me at the age of 12. 
I managed to find her jacket online. That was a battle that I did not go into at length. I basically had to spend a month searching really stinking hard. Um, auction, like a bidding war situation. Like I went ham with trying to find it. Um, I even like <laughs> tracked down somebody to uh, like ask them and they were nice enough to say, no, well, no and all that kind of stuff. Like, I went nuts trying to find all the Sadie stuff. Um, I made my own belt buckle. I made so- I modified belts. I modified so much stuff just to get Sadie correct, and I'm really excited to see where the rest of her goes. Probably the same amount of, amount of um, like, insanity and creativity and chaos, but what's Sadie Kane without a little chaos, right? And I'm just really excited to completely jump into the next video, which I will be filming directly after I film this outro. So enough stalling. I'm super excited. I want to take her to MegaCon and that is in two weeks. So wish me luck. I hope you guys have a great day. It's been a very long two years and I'm really excited to see what else I come up with for her. So, Bye.